Hello, hello. I recently heard that Co Carnage played Foxhole when 1.0 came out, and I didn't believe it because I thought I would have seen something around that time about him playing. I don't recall seeing anything on Reddit, and I don't recall seeing his stream in the Foxhole category. I came to find out that he did three different one-hour sponsored streaming sessions where he played Foxhole. I was able to find those VODs on his YouTube channel, and I thought I would check them out to see what his experience was like. After watching him play, I was incredibly disappointed. Not with Co and not with the devs, but because it seems like he only got to experience 10% of the game. I of his three one-hour play sessions, he only went to the front line and did infantry. No logistics, no tanking, no artillery, no facilities, just spawn in and die and go back to the front. Granted, this is normal for new players, as most new players want to experience the action first. But it was just that kind of disappointment where you're trying to share your favorite TV show with a friend and then they only watch the first episode or two and then they're done. You feel like they're missing out on so much more and what the show can offer to them. I watch a bit of Ko and I thought his community would really love the logistics and facilities part of this game. Now of course, Ko being a new player can't really just jump into logistics or facilities without some guidance, which is why I'm here to talk about the issue with this sponsorship. During this video, I'm not here to say anything bad about Ko, I just think there's a better way to do these types of sponsorships with big content creators. You've maybe seen a big streamer play one of your favorite games, but they weren't quite playing it right, or they couldn't figure out the best part of the game. I was asking myself during Ko's playthrough at Foxhole, why wasn't someone guiding him in-game or helping him learn all of these new things? A few players in-game did answer some questions for him, but you could kind of tell that they were probably some of his viewers, and they didn't want to backseat him too much. Ko's normally a streamer that asks his community not to backseat during games, so they probably just wanted to give him some space. But in Foxhole, you absolutely have to have a guide for new players on almost everything. Let's remember, Ko only had three separate one-hour play sessions of Foxhole. How could you learn anything in that time without someone there to help answer questions? So because no one was guiding Ko, he lost a lot of time just wandering around and getting lost instead of showing off what Foxhole really was about. With the three one-hour sponsored sessions, that gives him 180 minutes to show off the game. Like many of us, our first time playing, he ends up wandering around in home regions for about 10 minutes. Luckily, after that, he finds out how to spawn, and he spawns in Deadlands, and he gets right into the action. Then there is another time during his last session where he goes to get a bucket of water from a river and then he ends up getting stuck on a coast cliff for almost another 10 minutes. And basically 80% of the rest of his time was spent spawning in, dying, and then just returning to the same spot to rinse and repeat. Again, not faulting Ko here in the slightest. What I'm trying to get at is I wish he would have had someone there to guide and help him and to understand more of Foxhole and learn more about it. My solution to this problem would have been this. First, they should have set him up with a Foxhole content creator. Cronus Winter or Moi, I think, would have been good reps and good people to teach him more about Foxhole. Second, with having a guide for each sponsored stream, they should have focused on different areas of Foxhole each time. For Ko's first sponsored stream, it could have looked like the one what he did, where he went to Deadlands and did some infantry fighting. That would have been a good first hour, especially with a vet player there with him explaining more things to him and answering his questions. Ko's second sponsored stream should have been him in the back line and learning more things about logistics. This is where someone like Cronus Winter could have really helped out. Cronus could have gone over the basics of gathering materials, turning them into crates, and shipping them out. Then towards the end of that hour, could have just given him a taste of what facilities look like. Ko's third sponsored stream was around day 14 in the war. It would have been nice if Ko would have come back around more like day 20 or day 25 when more things were unlocked. During his third and last sponsored stream, I think joining up with a tank crew and doing some tanking would have been a great showcase of Foxhole. Overall, I just think Siege Camp could have done a better job coordinating some guidance for Ko with their sponsored stream. And I'm sure Ko even playing just a little bit he did still brought over quite a few players. I'm not a marketing guru and I won't pretend to be one, so there might be some other details here that I don't know about on how sponsored streams work. It could have been that Ko's contract for the sponsored stream said specifically that he only wanted to play by himself and he wanted to figure out on his own. If someone is watching this and has some insight into the marketing world, feel free to give me some insight on why this would be a good use of advertisement funds. I don't want it to come off like I'm really mad at Siege Camp as well. I don't think I think Siege Camp even has a marketing manager of any kind on their team currently. They are a small team, so I won't fault them for that. I know that they have a lot on their plate. I mean, STDs are about to be a huge problem after some of the footage I've seen. Again, I don't know anything about marketing, but it just seems like a waste of advertising funds. And maybe they should have just paid Summit again to come back. My final wish would be that Ko comes back to do one more one-hour play session with Cronus Winter to highlight what real logistics looks like. Cronus Winter could still like go over the basics with him, but then show him those big train yards that they built and the real logistical power that they have created. 
I do want to thank Ko for even trying out Foxhole. It did look like he had a lot of fun playing it. And thanks to the devs for doing some marketing in the first place without even having a marketing manager. Do you all think that Ko promoted the game well? If you haven't seen his playthrough, the link is in the description below. Are you one of the people that found Foxhole through Ko's sponsored streams? And if so, are you still playing Foxhole? What would your solution to this problem be? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. If you are able to become a member of the channel, it really helps support me and my family. My Twitch channel and Discord links are below in the description. Take it easy, y'all and cheers.